Sean Solomon here. It's April 27th, Saturday. Today is my day off. So I don't have to go to work tonight. Um, that's the most I could hope for. I don't have to go to I don't have to go to work tonight. Uh, so my whole day was about choosing the best habits for myself. Choosing the right path each and every second of the day. In the morning, I, instead of going on my cell phone and uh, doom scrolling, I was vlogging, journaling, appreciation, emphasizing in gr things like gratitude and appreciation for the things that I do have. And, um, you know, I, I had the pen and paper and everything. And then I did a session of vlogging. And I just spoke out my truth, my self-reflection, whatever the hell you want to call it. And recorded it. And then I just went about my whole day. I went to the gym. Soon afterwards, got a gym session in. Did some free weights, pull-ups. No, pull-up bar. So I did some push-ups, some free weights, uh, sit-ups. You know, basically anything to get my body and my blood flowing. And then I took the cold shower to finish my session off. So I felt hungry as hell and took my mom to the Korean um, BB Bop rice beef and an assortment of vegetables, including mushrooms, egg, and, you know, this random ass, you know, vegetables, carrots and stuff, radishes or onions that they put on it. And it's pretty healthy for Asian cuisine, uh, for MSG, um, you know, induced uh, culinary uh, history, um, unlike, Chinese uh, cooking there's always soy sauce or some kind of goddamn sauce has too much sodium and would naturally just elevate your cholesterol levels uh, and your uh, LDL cholesterol all the bad cholesterols because I, I ran in the hot came across this you know cultural you know thing it's like Asians Chinese they like eating preservatives so that includes salt, MSG, all this kinds of soy sauce shit. Soy sauce is even proven to actually has some kind of benefit for uh, uh, longevity that kills uh, cancer. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I read according to the Harvard study. I don't know. But soy sauce some has, has benefits to it. Curry sauce has some anti-inflammatory and cumin and curry and you know spices in general Whew. so you know I spent my money and my time hanging out with family and food eating uh, nutritionist food there's so many other options Chinese buffet you know pizza whatever the fuck and I'm, I was just thankful for having what seemed, appeared to be fresh, uh, fresh food. So afterwards, we just wanted, did a little walking, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. And uh, went home. Didn't really do much. It was weird. Um... You know, I wasn't engaged in battle or work or anything or grifting or trying to buy low and sell high or trying to acquire inventory or toys and games for Amazon and eBay or any, or any of the ways I was making money. It was just like I had a peaceful day. It was kind of weird to me, uh, you know, how peaceful and quiet it was after I've been, uh, my body has been assimilated into the American industry industrial might and it's just like huh I, I guess I made it 
uh, this is what retirement uh, may feel like in the in the future you know you just have an old boring bitty day of of your choices of what whatever you make it to be you know so why not just hang out at the brothel all day um, it only opens at 5 p.m. and you know a guy going to the strip club during the daytime you know says a lot about him you know you don't want to be that guy if you're that guy you probably don't have a job something's probably annoying you you don't have a family if you do have a family you're probably trying to escape and fantasize living in your own fantasy world just a lot of degenerative stuff that plagues ordinary people especially men and um, that's, that's just how it is so anyways I'm doing this vlog to watch myself and to be accountable for my own dumbass things that I do uh, on a regular basis so today is my day off this is maybe my, my only second or third day actual day off for the entire month of April which is crazy and um, so I decided to take it easy you know but once your body is um, conditioned to be working each and every day it uh, does things to you you know you always think you have to be productive you have to always think you have to work or be, be on your toes you know you can't calm down you yourself turn into some kind of like Karen creature or something shit and you just can't calm down calm, calm the fuck down you know you get all wired up and you know you, you gotta be doing something and I'm just trying to tell myself no I don't no I don't have to be spending money you know and all these things so after um, the Korean um, restaurant uh, you know I went to Marshall's I, I took a I strangely just took a nap afterwards um, and then it, it was only till now that I decided to go biking and go to ShopRite didn't buy anything at ShopRite and just went to Chipotle Chipotle and got a a bowl so back in the day 2000 up to 2017 you can get two wraps for free with your bowl now they charge like 55 cents each so that's like an extra dollar for two wraps and that's just a bunch of additional calories uh, that you don't need so it's actually better for me that I didn't t take those two reps and it's just like you can't homeless the way you used to because of post-apocalyptic COVID and uh, the other alternative was to eat the ShopRite chicken which I didn't want to because it was my day off and I wanted flavor, I wanted variety, I wanted to eat something different. And also someone just fucking died at work. Two people just fucking died at work. Uh, people just randomly die around hospitals, whether it be patients or actual employees that you see each and every day. Um, you know, it's just weird, but that's how it happens. And, you know, you never know when your ticket's up. So, at the same time, that doesn't mean you should be doing all the degenerative stuff. And, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of wisdom in that. Just because you have all this money and free time doesn't necessarily mean you can be a complete and utter degenerate. Um... Uh, which is what most people do. I, I don't blame them, you know. But uh, the best of us would work on themselves or become doctors and lawyers or whoever you actually we really want to want to be. Um, for me, I don't know. I don't know who I actually am. So I just stick to my gig, make money, and you know.
that's how it is. You know, there's no real sense of self-actualization. Although I try to hit that mark, I realize that I'm just a lazy, fat animal, just like everyone else. I want money, you know, I want this, I want that. And it's just like, you know, the only difference is that I, you know, I just, I know it's me um, behind the steering wheel and I don't want to hit every bump and ding on the road. So I just take the path of least resistance and try not to fuck myself over buying all these fucking things that I don't need. And that just makes me happy. So I'm trying to identify another thing playing video games and watching porn. I have a lap alienware laptop with the RTX 3000 maybe 2000 chip. Nvidia graphics card and all this. I'm I, that's in my trunk right now. I don't even bring it home because my wisdom is telling me I get more out of sleeping and recharging my internal battery than playing video games. Just giving myself that chance just to relapse. Just to relapse all over again. Playing video games, watching porn, especially in your house. Uh, you're less likely to do this at work or at school or whatever, but when you're alone or, you know, whatever, in your home, you, you tend to be a lot more creepier, and you do do those things. Watch porn, gives you a chance to be watching, indulging in porn, and video games, and the rate of return, the rate of, the, the return on investment, of nutting and spreading your seed, you know, using uh, some lotion and uh, a magic pussy, uh, you know, that's not what God intended, you know, to create you for. And um, you'll quickly lose your drive and your ambitions and you know, your work ethic. You seemingly have it all. But again, it's just another trap. It's only a matter of time until, you know, your battery charges and, you know, it's rinse and repeat. And what did you get out of playing video games, watching porn, and nutting all over the place? Not much. Not much. The rate of return is very minimal. If not anything. You most certainly won't feel very energetic. You most certainly won't retain your ambition. You most certainly will just be like, eh, apathetic, even more apathetic. If you were apathetic before nutting, after nutting, I guarantee you, you will feel very apathetic and not give a shit. Putting you in a in an even worse spot. And uh, that sucks. And you need every ounce of energy to uh, propel yourself getting out of a hole I do at least everyone does you know and seeing how I was the A student in the class even I need to you know regulate myself I need to practice self-control if everyone else was just to see you or B student you know it's I can only imagine how actually fucking hard it is you know to climb up the socioeconomic ladder or just obtain the things you want in life, whether it be a family, children, a, a, a home, you can call your own, you know, you probably don't even ask much for much, how people do it now, I don't know, but what I do know is once you nut, once you nut all over the place, you know, the drive 
dissipates quickly just dissipates and you're like I don't give a fuck anymore until the next relapse you know your battery will charge you know you'll be in the zone and then you know you nut again and you relapse rinse and repeat so they say don't look at uh, blue screens two hours before sleeping. That's what I'm gonna, gonna have to be doing. Just after this vlog, I'm just gonna be sleeping. I just don't wanna put myself into that situation where I'm playing video games and just nutting all over the place thinking that it's cool, thinking that it's okay thinking that you know there would be no ramifications of my degenerative actions when in fact there is immediate regret of you know of releasing you know why is it so bad I don't know maybe you'll realize this as well I don't know but I know that it will just lead to my downfall or any man's downfall. Just nutting all over the place. Not thinking twice about it. You can nut all the place you want. I, I just... You know, you, you probably wouldn't have enough rocket fuel to, you know, perpetuate yourself th through, you know, next week's um, work week or school or whatever you're trying to get get through or family time you know when you're not you know just you per perspective your perception of reality just gets more annoying you know you lose your cool a lot easier um you know you're unable to be more tolerant of others and f for me i i can feel this and you know it's just like I just tend to be more reclusive. I just don't want to be as social because I just nutted. You know, I'm tired. I don't really care about social interaction. And it's very well documented. Men act like this, you know. It's like the, the demon is released and, you know, you can just loathe, loathe around. But that's, that's what degenerates do, you know. That's what they do in Philadelphia with, uh, you know, overdosing, just, they get their drug and then, you know, they become all reclusive and shit until they relapse and need another hit and then they have to start talking to people so they can find new drugs to get a refill and it's just like, it's the same si fucking cycle over and over again. And like I said, you need every ounce of that rocket fuel, whether you want to call it, you know, endorphins or dopamine or whatever to get you going to the next stage in life to hit your marks to hit your goals and your dreams or whatever the good habits or you'll be stuck you'll be fucking trapped in a perpetual cycle of of ignorance selfishness greed and just calling it off calling it another jerk off day Is that what I actually want? No. So, you know, I don't, I don't blame anyone for ending up like a drug addict in, in Philadelphia. But you know, that can easily happen to anyone if if you don't, if you don't know any better. So. I'm out here in, in the nature's, uh, kind of, uh, parking lot of nature, uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, huh. You know, how can I improve my life? You know? I'm probably just gonna go to sleep, recharge my battery, and that's it. That's the best life I could hope for. If I went to the club and just nutted all over the place, sure I would have fun. But tomorrow I'd probably be tired as hell and, you know. 
I don't know. Either way, I would have fun sleeping and I would have fun at the club. But, um, you know, I think my wisdom is trying to guide me in the right place by just sleeping and recharging and maybe I'll sleep the club for another time. I don't know. But, um... Why not just do nothing? I don't, I don't... I never know why I always have to be stimulated by something. Someone told me, like, about ADHD. Maybe I have ADHD. I always need to be stimulated or something. Or alcoholics. They need... They need beer all the time. I just need to be stimulated or something. Anyways, I don't know whether it's weakness or whatever. I have to deal with it. So, I'm just gonna sleep off the day and call it a day and wake up tomorrow and go to the city with my mom and do whatever. Even shoot a vlog about it. Chinatown. So, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Have a good day. Peace out.